Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatical Global Customer Support Team. So in this video, we'll see file designer task flow in Cloud B2B or ISS. So as I mentioned in my previous video, so file designer can be used in task flow or it can be used in uh, MI task or it can be used in uh, B2B uh, part task. So first we'll focus on uh, how to use file designer in task flow. Let's start with the demo. So as we saw in the previous video, like we have created a file listener which is FL uh, demo v v i d underscore demo two. So let me click on this. Now, so this if you see here, like this is a folder that is going to listen. That file listener is going to listen. I have updated for R I C updated is deleted and check file stability I have kept true and remaining everything is fast. And so if I start directly, so it will throw an error because it is not associated to any task. Now we need to create a task flow. So go to click on new and click on task flows. You can create a task flow, create control flow logic to run mapping in a um, multiple data integration task. So let me create this. So I'm going, I'm not going to assign any mapping to in this uh, task flow because uh, I just wanted to show you how FL works with the task flow. So I will take a uh, empty task flow. Now this is the task flow. Now let me, uh, like if you see here, like uh, you can give a task flow name. So I'm going to give like, uh, this is a second one. So I'm going to assign this one. You can give any name. And if you click on start, then you can see binding type rest or so. So as you are using for a file listener, so you need to click on event. It is not for any API. So I'm clicking on event. Now you can see event source name. Now you need to click create, like you need to select that file listener which you have created. Now you can search for FL underscore bid. So this is a demo too, let me select. So, and one more thing here you need to remember, like if there are multiple users which have created with the same name, here you cannot see the, like you cannot see the folder name, you can only see the name. But when you come to input fields, here you can see the folder name, for project name and folder name. So in this way you can differentiate between the users if it if the file is not having the same name now click on the output fields nothing so temporary fields so on what i am going to do let me save this okay now uh, i save now let me go to fl now if i i associated fl to task flow and i am going to click on start now still if you see it is throwing an error the, uh, the reason is when you publish then only the task flow will become subscriber to file listener so let me publish okay so now task flow will become subscriber to FL. Now if I go here and if I start, now the task flow will start successfully. Now we can go to monitor. So you can see started FL and you can go to monitor. So as I told in file transfer logs, you can check. So if you see here, so this is a demo too and this is the time frame and it is running. So you can see number of files formed. So it is zero. That means we didn't place any files still in this location, in this CFL2. Now let me go and place in that location. Now this location, I am going to place one text file. So, so I placed one text file. Now this file so uh, will be picked up by the file listener. So let me go to the file listener. Now here, let me go to the monitor. Now here you can see, so FL is running and it picked up one file okay so which file it, it, uh, if you click on this then you can see fl has been started by user so this user should have uh, run privilege for the file listener so this uh, like how to check that you can check in the administrator page you can check under this user so whether the uh, this user has permission to start file listener or not now it will be like it is running state because when the file pick up it will be in running state okay so D dot A, because we didn't check that option. So this option we didn't check. Stop checking if rules are met. This option is checked. Then this will, uh, like after uh, when file arrives, then this FL will stop, but it is still running. Now you can see, so D dot A is being picked up and file size is zero. Okay. Now we can see file is has started. It picked up one file. Now, uh, what, what, what is the event that we kept in task flow? So in task flow, you see, like we are, we kept, I kept the task flow at the beginning. That means I, if, if any file event happens, then I need to trigger the task flow. 
now here it is a empty task flow but still it should uh, trigger so if you see here now if i go to all jobs now you can see tf with demo to got triggered now you can see so it got triggered at 8:16 pm now when so during this time only like the file got arrived so in this way if you want to trigger a task flow using a fl event then you need to create at the start so this is a start you can see so at the start we have assigned the fl now in the next video why uh, i am going to talk about so in the task flow only fl can be used at file watch task also so that means uh, i am not going to use the fl at the start that means if you use at start it will trigger the uh, task flow now i wanted to use it at some file watch task so when i use at file watch task it should trigger the rest of the task flow that i will uh, talk about in the next video now mm, you can follow this references so which is a file listen and task flow you can check this for more information and you can provide your feedback at support.bdsetinformatica.com thank you for watching this video